Hi everyone, my name is Helen and I'm really glad that you were able to join me today. And I'm very excited to read a book to you called A Story About Sprout. And this is a story that I wrote and I also drew the pictures. And this is Sprout right here. And these are some of his friends. Shall we find out about them? Let's start. A story about Sprout. Sprout was new. He had just arrived and everything was new and different. It was kind of fun. He looked around. He looked down. He looked up. He felt the breeze in his soft green fur and the earth under his padded paws. He didn't know where he was or when he was, or where he came from. But Sprout didn't mind. He felt wonderful, and Sprout smiled. Who's that? Then, out of the bushes came a little yellow duckling. Hello, said Sprout. Hello, I'm Quackers, said the duckling. Who are you? I'm Sprout, said Sprout. I've never seen someone like you, said Quackers. What are you? I'm not sure, said Sprout. I'm new. Maybe you're a duck like me, said Quackers. Ducks have toes like these. Oh, said Sprout. Like these? No, said Quackers. You must not be a duck. Who's that? Hello, said a new voice. It belonged to a little green frog. I'm Lily Pad. Who are you? I'm Quackers, said Quackers. I'm Sprout, said Sprout. I've never seen someone like you, said Lilypad the frog. Are you a frog? Frogs have a long tongue, like this. Like this? Sprout stuck out his tongue. No, said Lilypad. You must not be a frog. Good morning, said a small grand voice. It belonged to a ladybug. May I be of some help? Maybe you can help, said Sprout. I'm Sprout, but I don't know what I am. I am Lady Dot, said the ladybug. Let me take a look at you. So Lady, Lady Dot crawled up and over, and down, and over again. Hmm, said Lady Dot. You are soft and furry like a kitten, but you are not shaped like a kitten. So you don't know either, cried Quackers. Do stop shouting, said Lady Dot. That is very rude. Sprout was sad. No one knew what he was. Just then, the most beautiful creature flew down 
and landed on a leaf nearby. Oh, you're beautiful, said Sprout. Thank you, said the creature. I'm Flutterby. I'm Sprout, said Sprout, but I'm afraid I don't know what I am. Oh, I don't think about that very much, said Flutterby, but I can see you have beautiful colors in your eyes. Do you see the colors in Sprout's eyes? Really? said Sprout. Yes, indeed, said Flutterby. And anyway, you know you're Sprout, and you know you're here. I don't think you need to know any more than that. And Flutterby fluttered her wings and flew away. Sprout took a breath and smiled a big smile. That's right, he said. I'm Sprout. I have toes and I have a tongue and I am soft and I may not know what I am, but I know I'm here. And Sprout smiled even bigger just because he was Sprout. The end. So that's Sprout's story. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked hearing about Sprout and his friends. And if you did, here's something that you might do. And you could do it now, or you can do it later on if you like. I have a special friend called Sprout. He's right here. And so I went and I drew some pictures of him. And the pictures are in the book. So what you can do is imagine for yourself, if you had a special friend, what would the friend be like? It might be a person, or it might be an animal, or it might be a one-of-a-kind creature just like Sprout, or one-of-a-kind creature all of its own. And when you've imagined what your friend is like, imagine what you would do together and how would you play together and where would you go and what would you talk about? And then take some crayons or take some colored pencils or maybe some markers if you would like or a plain pencil is fine whatever you like and a piece of paper and draw a picture of you and your special friend doing the thing that you would like most to do with them and so that's all for me today thank you very much for coming to spend some time with me and i hope i see you again soon Bye-bye.